Hello everyone and welcome. On this episode of Castle IO, we are going to be finishing this game, creating a build, running that build, and then we are going to be talking a little bit about the problems and the solutions that this game needs. So if you want to know how that's done, stick around and let's get started. So to get started, let's go ahead and give the player the ability to replay the game. And for us to do that, we need to first be using Unity Engine dot scene management because really what we need to do is reload the scene that we are playing. Now here on the state exit method, whenever we press P, we escaped and we want to play again. So to play again, we can go scene manager dot load scene and here we need to pass in a scene build index or alternatively a scene name but let's go with the index so we need to get the index for the current scene and that's very easy to do we simply go scene manager dot get active scene and this will return the active scene at this time and then we just go dot build index and this will reload the scene allowing us to play the game from the start so let's go ahead and wait for this to recompile play the game and let's go ahead and i don't remember the combination but let's go and this bandage let's go forward forward enter forward open the door and right here if we press p to play again we will be reloading the game and start from the beginning let's go and there you go right from the beginning and with that our game is complete however we do not have a build that we can send to other people so they can play the game so let's go ahead and fix that to create a build we go here to file build settings and this is where we create our build as you can see pc mac and linux is selected however we do not have any scenes in the build we can change that by clicking add open scenes and this will add the open scene to our build if you have more than one scene you can drag them here however and since we only have one that's the one we add we can then choose the target platform, in my case Windows, and the architecture, in this case, will be 86 and 64. Then we can go and click here on this player settings button. This will open a new window. And this window is where you can change all the settings regarding to your game. So let's go ahead and change the company name to Stereo PT, and we'll leave the product name as Castle.io. If you have an icon, you can go ahead and choose it here. And there are countless other settings that you can change regarding to resolution and icons and splash images and other settings. You can go ahead and check those. However, I will not check those. I will leave them as is and I will click build and run. And this will present me with a dialogue system of where I want to save my build. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and call it builds. So I will save my castle.io build right here. And as you can see, it will be an exe. So let's go ahead and save. This will take a while for the Unity to create the build. So I will see you when this is over. As you can see, the build finished and I'm prompted with this Castle.io configuration screen. Here you can choose and select the screen resolution, if you want it to be full screen or not, the graphics quality and if you have multiple monitors you can choose the one you want to play in. Let's not worry about that and let's just click play. You are prompted with Unity splash screen and then we will jump into our game. And as you can see, this is full screen game that we made in the editor. So, 
Now let's talk a little bit about problems and solutions for this game. For those interested in playing this game, I will provide you with a download link in the description down below that will take you to my Google Drive and there is where you will find a build for this game. So if you want to play this, go ahead and check that out. Well, the problems we have with this game is that right now if we do a mobile build we are not allowed to play and that is because we do not have access to the keyboard on our cell phones and we really don't want to bring the keyboard just so we can play this game. What we really want is buttons. Instead of having keyboard input we want to have button input so we can play it both on mobile and on the computer and instead of clicking the keyboard we can grab the mouse and click a button and that is what we are going to be creating on the next season of Castle I.O. We are going to take this game and make it mobile friendly. So stick around and I hope you enjoyed this season of Castle I.O. I hope you learned a lot in this season and if you did leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos and I will see you all on the next season. Cheers!